Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Tax. In our last video, we discussed how to cache in out open point of sale system, sales history, X and Y report with the end of the day. In this video, we are going to discuss item discounts, discount granted, starting case entries, profit and margin, and invoice list report. So let's get started. As usual, we'll go to the main menu. In this main menu, we have here management. If we click this management, here we have reporting. In this reporting, we have three groups of reporting. The first one is sales, next one is purchase, and the last one is loss and damage. Under the sales, we have here stock moment report. Already we have completed this part, and you can watch my uh, previous and earliest video to get some understanding on the stock moment report. Okay, that's fine. Now, in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the other reports. The first one is items discount. Okay, it would be better if you refer and watch my previous chapter number 13 video, then you can understand and get cleared about the facts and figures are going to be generated in these reports. Okay, that's fine. Now I click on this items discount. Once you click this items discount on the right side, you can filter your reports. Okay, or you can uh, get the report as default. As default, you can get for all customers and suppliers, for all users, all user accounts, and case registers, products. Okay, here we can set the starting and ending date. Okay, so uh, in my previous video, chapter number 13, I have made some uh, transaction okay, on this uh, uh, point of sales. Okay, here we have the date 1 1 2022. Okay, so today date. 2nd, 2nd of January 2022. So we are going to get the item discounts from yesterday to today, okay, up to now, okay. And here we have four buttons. First one is show report. Here we have print and Excel and PDF, okay. You can uh, show the report, okay, or you can directly print the report or you can save the report as Excel or PDF, okay. So now I'm going to click on this uh, show report button. Once I click here, you can get the report. So it's very easy and simple. Now here you can see item discounts. So yesterday we have uh, given some of discounts for this 1031 products headphone. So you can remember the figure 474. Okay. So like that, you can get all of the discounts that you have given a discount for items. Okay, so that's quite nice interesting features in Aronium point of sale system. So here we have zoom slider. You can zoom in and zoom out your views. Okay, here I'm going to close here and you can save as Excel, PDF and print. Okay, so that is the first things that I want to discuss. Item discount. Okay, items discount. And here we have the next report discounts granted. Okay, discount granted so if we click discounts granted you can uh, see the same uh, commands key filters and at the same setting okay so here you can see the starting date and ending date so now i'm going to click on the show report to show the report on discounts granted so we'll click here show report here you can see the report okay discount granted before tax okay the company name address and the period starting date and ending date customers to all customers users all users here you can see the date and the document number okay and you can see the figure before the discount after discount and discount granted okay so here this 474 is for the item discount and this 741.40 we have given for cards okay so we can watch my previous video uh, if you need any other clarification so total discount is printed here Okay, that's quite nice interesting features again okay so i'm going to close here so now we have completed second report as well so now we'll move to the third one starting case entries starting case entries in my uh, in our previous video we have discussed about the cash in and cash out okay so there you can uh, generate those transactions as a report so first we will click this starting case entries and here you can uh, see the filter so these for the cash 
in and out we have uh, no filterization for customers and suppliers and product so that is related with users and case registers okay so you can uh, see select the all users or the specific users or we can uh, register the case for all or for the point of sales okay that's fine now we can set the starting date and ending date if you wish and you can cancel okay if you like to go with this setting and you can click on the show report to show the report now you can see here we have the company name address and user name and for the descriptions okay so here we have given earlier in the previous video t and k shout that is negative thousand and we have uh, entered uh, 5500 as running case okay so the net uh, amount is 4500 okay so that is starting case entries report okay the next uh, report we are going to discuss is profit and margin profit and margin okay so profit and margin i already discussed in chapter number 12 as well okay you can watch that video as well so there you can uh, calculate your net profit it means you can get the total profit and also you can deduct your uh, expenses okay so those features are not included actually in the erroneous point of sale system okay but i found a way to make it possible okay the net profit okay so most of the uh, subscribers and my wishers requested me to post a video on that particular area so finally i found a way to enter that and you can watch the chapter number 12 uh, to calculate the net profit okay so here also we have the profit and margin so directly you can calculate from the sales uh, versus cost okay so there you can calculate the profit okay and as well as the margin okay so here again we can see the filters and here we have show report you can click the show report and we can get the uh, profit here you can see the products and here we can uh, see the cost of the products and uh, total amount okay total amount and the profit we have earned for each product so and the percentage okay sometimes if we give the uh, discounts okay and that also will be uh, synchronized and calculated under the margin you can see the margin here and you can see the uh, profit here okay so here we have the profit 53642 okay that's fine now i'm going to close this profit and margin report and before we close okay i again uh, ask you to watch my chapter number 12 video to calculate the net profit sometimes you may have some electricity or water or any other utility charges so you can include any in, you can incorporate that uh, utility and other expenses as well in this profit and you can calculate the uh, net profit okay that's fine and another one is daily sales report okay so i'm going to click on the daily sales report and daily sales report uh, from all customers and suppliers i'm going to take here and other settings are same and you can set the starting date and ending date and here i'm going to click on the show report okay so in this daily sales report, we can see the date and the total sales uh, for each uh, day. Okay. So if we have uh, given uh, some of the starting date and ending date, so in between that, we can calculate the daily sales. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll go to the next report, invoice list. Invoice list. In this invoice list, we can uh get the list of uh, invoices okay that we have made on that particular day of sales okay or the period of the sales okay there we have the filters and i'm going to click on the show report okay so we'll click here the show report so we have processed under the open transaction so there we have no customer name so directly we processed so there we have the document numbers and items okay number of items we uh, sold uh, on each uh, transaction and uh, the total amount okay so there we have uh, a grand total 236500 okay so if you want to uh, understand the facts and figures or the figures here you can watch the chapter number 13 video so there from there you can understand how it comes from this report okay that's fine 
if you want to save this file as excel and you can click on this excel button and there we can give the uh, file name and you can save it okay and here we have pdf and you can give the file name and you can save it okay or we can directly print okay so we'll go to the erroneum folder and there we have uh, sales invoice list okay so like that we can print all of the other reports okay or we can make as a soft copy or we can keep it as microsoft excel file Okay, that's fine that's all i want to discuss in this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell then you will be get notified to my brand new videos thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video goodbye